Oh my god, I wish I had that video. <gasps> So I've just casted my right rod out, I've swapped them over because I wasn't happy where it was. It was just down, down here but I wasn't getting any bites so I couldn't be bothered with the bait boat. So I'm going to show you where I've casted it. Oh, zoom in. Okay, it's not getting focused, but right under there, right under there in that far corner. Because there was a lot of crashing there last night, and so I just think I'm going to try it because it's been quiet for a few hours. Um, I haven't seen any signs of fish at all. First one of today. It's my second day here. Small, but it's really pretty. Some lovely scales on it. So with the right rod, um, it's out here on the far, near the far bank. That's got um, sweet corn on, and it's got my little worm mix, which also has sweet corn in it as well. Um, that's got sweet corn, um, pellets, chopped up worms, maggots, and goo as well. Um, and then on the left rod, which is in this little crevice here really hard to do it on my phone that little um, indent there so I have put red band out with that and I've baited pretty much this this area here with red band this morning so hopefully it just kickstart them kickstarts the uh, carp feeding again because when I put the red band out this morning all of a sudden there was bubbles everywhere so there hasn't been any signs. Um, I haven't caught anything for a while now. So I feel like they might not be feeding on the top and they might not be feeding on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna try a zig rig, see if that works. I'm gonna pop that out. See if I can find where the carp are swimming. So the reason why I've gone for a black and yellow zig um, is because I watched um, Rob Hughes's underwater video. Um, and it seems like it was the clearest um, colour in the water, so 
I'm hoping he's right. It's four o'clock now. And I've only had one carp. Oh no. Oh, it's not even in my swim. Literally. Just saw a carp crash over there by the margin. And it's not even in my swim. That's the first sign. The first sign that I've seen any carp come out on top. And I just saw one crash. Not in my swim. So to give you an update, um, I'm not happy with the zig rig. It's been hours and I've caught nothing on it. I have recently seen um, two carp crash out. Um, it's about that time of day, 4 p.m. that I caught yesterday uh, where they started crashing and they were feeding on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna put one rod on with a cell, boily, and then I'm going to try the other one on a pop-up um, so that I'm fishing similar to how it was yesterday. Right, so I've done a fresh rig. started crashing where my bait is they obviously like feeding around this time four onwards I'm actually livid I just lost it Nothing I did. Pulled up tight. And just nothing. Gone. And my phone fell down as well when it was filming. I've been waiting all day for that. Well, not all day. I've been waiting hours for that. And I was in the right area, right area and everything. I knew it'd go off. Literally, it went off in minutes of saying it's going to go off soon because it's near 4 pm. And then I lost it. Let's get it out again. Look at that. That's a decent one. Uh, right rod 
and that was in three foot. Oh, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh you were worth the wait today. You were worth the wait. Oh, I'm gonna kiss this one. You were worth it. Look at that. Very happy. So happy right now. That was the, uh, as I mentioned, the right rod that was in three foot of water with the worm mix and cell boiling on the bottom. I'm so pleased I waited. I'm gutted that I lost one on the right, but it's from the same spot the, of the fish that I lost and I caught a beauty. So I'm so pleased. I think that's the biggest one so far, 18-1. Yes. The right rod again. In about 15 minutes, putting it back out. one is 20 pound exactly so this is my biggest yet and it was literally like 15 minutes after the last one on the right rod again so I'm really happy with that yeah I think I have to give it a kiss because obviously this is the biggest so far Mwah. overall a very successful day um, I've had three carp uh, biggest 20 pound exactly so I had a bit of the blues earlier today because it just weren't there was no bites there was nothing happening stuck to my gunzo and kept in the shallow water which is good um, Obviously I did try the zig rig once for a few hours and it just, I wasn't happy with it. So I'm glad I did because I caught um, that 18 and 20 within 15 minutes of each other on that right rod. So, and that was with the uh, pop up and the worm mix I made. So that was really good, really good. I can go to sleep happy now. Um, see if I catch anything in the night, although it has been really slow today, much slower than yesterday. They were just so happy yesterday. Maybe because they knew it was changeover day for um, the lettings. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Friday. No one's going to be here for a while. So, yeah. I think I'm going to get really good sleep because I struggled to sleep last night. Um, the sound of the strangled goat that that bird, that must, that must be a bird that was making a strangled goat noise that was happening and and I just struggled to sleep but obviously then I had one go off about 1.40 I think it was so that might happen again tonight I'm not going to be unhappy if it doesn't because I feel pretty chuffed now with what I've got and I would like to sleep so yeah ready for day three tomorrow 
good morning. So last night um, was extremely windy and a massive storm. It was horrendous. It didn't go well last night. The storm picked up and it was so windy and I'm really close to trees and I was a little bit kind of scared to fish last night. So as it got a bit further into the morning, early morning hours, um, about two o'clock, I brought my rods in. So I didn't catch last night. Um, I've brought them in and then freshened up and recasted again. Um, my left rod's in the same spot. I'm trying my right rod in, so the, the left rod's in about three foot, the right rod's in 3.6. So I've just tried it a little bit further over to the right um, in a tiny bit deeper water. I haven't caught anything yet this morning. So I'm gonna give it an hour and I might move that right rod over to the, let me show you the spit. So at the moment, my right rod's over here. My left's where it was yesterday. And then over here where the spit is, I'm gonna put it possibly here, maybe in about six foot deep of water. Um, oh, it's starting to rain again. Just so that I can try, just so that I can um, try a bit more depth, because the, the fish aren't here. I don't know where they are at the moment. I don't know whether what depth they're in. Uh, the sun hasn't come out, so the shallow waters might not be where they're gonna be. Um, so I've got to just try a few different things today to see if I can find them. Looks like the people next to me got their line caught in a tree. That must have happened last night. See, wasn't good weather. The sun keeps showing now, so looks like my swim's gonna be heating up. It's gone two o'clock, and yesterday I caught my first one after four. So I'm hoping with this beautiful sun that's shining now, that swim of mine um, is gonna heat up really nicely, and I'm gonna be in for a bite soon. It's been a really slow day today. So I've moved, um, hiya Max. It's my boxer dog. Yeah, don't wanna be licking that. Max, no. Hey. Um, so where, um, yeah, I've moved my left hand rod. Um, it was in three foot of water and now where it drops down to six foot, I've just popped uh, popped it in the crevice in there um, because the bait might have washed down to that point so if I'm fishing in six foot I want to get the best six foot spot so we will see it's been a very slow day boxer dog tails really hurt Max 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 turn around <laughs> Max turn around hey what are you doing come here sit down Sit, sit, come here you. Max, look, assist, look, look, look. Max, come here. Max, sit down, sit, sit, sit. What are you doing? Oh, for God's sake, can't get dog to do anything. <laughs> sit down, sit, sit. That's it. So Max will sit, but he won't sit facing the right way. Where are you think you're going? You're not going in the water. Hey! Max! Maxie! You can go and have a look this way. 
So there was one fish crashing in the far corner. It's like 8 p.m. now and I've still not caught fish. They are just, haven't been in this area, but I'm glad I've seen one now. Because then I've still got more of a shot. Shop, 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 shop. Bored now. I want, I want one. So I've moved my one of my rods into that far corner where there was two crashes. Um, so we'll see if anything comes up. I don't know what's happened, but after that storm that I had last night, that was pretty bad. It just seems to have gone pretty quiet out there. I've not caught anything today, yet I've tried everything I can. I'm using the same bait because I know it works. I've tried different depths, but nothing. Oh well, you win some and you lose some. But although I've had nothing today, I have come away from this holiday with a good few beautiful carp. Um, that I'm really happy with so I'm glad it was only on the last day that I didn't catch so Lakeview is a lovely place to come and fish um, Welford fishery is just amazing um, I've had a lot of fun I want to come back again and I might come back in summer here because I've really enjoyed it um, and the carp are just so beautiful they're kept really well the fish are in really good condition here